right. Now, this is, uh, we're all discombobulated, I think. It's turned into <laughs> like a big Chuck and Little John skit, the whole show so far. <laughs> Look who's starting our day off. It is Big Chuck and Little John Rinaldi. Thank you. And this Friday marks the finale of a long <laughs> and <laughs> illustrious career with our station. For, are you crying or sneezing? Or both? Crying, I'm both. crying. <laughs> so we brought him in along with the equally um, talented John Rinaldi. And uh, so how does it feel? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Different, I'll tell you. I've been yeah. doing this for 47 years here at Channel 8, so I don't know what I'll do. I, uh, yeah, what's it going to be like? I hang out with John, I'll come sleep over his house and all that. <laughs> I'm unemployed now, now so. Yeah. <laughs> now, it is the, the Big Chuck and Little John show is the longest running show of its kind in television history right. anywhere. Right. In Isn't the that world, right? as in far the as world. we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, I hear that you two didn't start out to be on television. That, that was no, not your that no, was no. not your aim. No, no. I started yeah. as an engineer here in 1960. Okay. And uh, when Ernie Anderson came over, I met he, him and uh, Tim Conway, and they started the Glarty Show, and Ernie used me, and that's how it all began. And and I hear you're the most reluctant t TV star ever. <laughs> Absolutely. You're very shy yep, and I, actually not comfortable in front of the camera. No, I'm not comfortable now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. We don't bite. We don't bite. Okay. So we ask you to to talk about your favorite skits. And uh, um, we'll let Chuck, the, the elder what, statesman, will go first. What is what is your favorite favorite skit? Well, it's favorite only because I my dog was in it, and uh, it won the very first Emmy ever awarded in Cleveland in 1969 for King really? the Wonder Dog. It was. Uh, where I'm the Kovacic kid and I'm trapped up on a mountain and a tree is broken over my legs and I'm, it's snowing and I'm freezing and there's no one to help me and then King spots me. And then and King spots, are we going to see we'll this? Pick it up. Yeah. We're going to pick it up right there where King spots you. But wait, we forgot about the only one person who can help him. Wonder Dog. Very nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, John, how, how did you come to be with Big Chuck? Well, actually, I was working in a jewelry store, and a gentleman by the name of Dick Blake came in, and he saw me fooling around. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you like to be funny? And I said, yes. He said, I know these guys who land in Big Chuck. I said, well, here's my card. Tell them to give me a call. Chuck called, and that's 38 years ago. Isn't that amazing? That will be in the special. He did a thing called Bridget the Midget. I asked Dick Blake if he knew a short girl I could use in a skit. He said, no, but I know a short guy. He said, okay. And who, who is Dick Blake? He was a dance instructor. He still is. He still is. Yes, he yeah. is. Yeah. I knew the name sounded familiar, but I see him in the newspaper because he does dance classes. Correct. And he does manners classes. And that. Okay, all right. Oh, well, I can and, see that and, you've and, taken from him. <laughs> dress for success. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite skit? Actually, it would be Troglodytes, uh, which was my fourth skit I ever did, and that sort of like catapulted me to where Chuck used me almost every week then until Hooley left and then used then he had to use me every week. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, and you made a big announcement on the show when, when uh, Houlihan was gone. Oh, absolutely. I remember, I remember I that. I helped him pack. I got his triple-A triptych. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know he was no, exactly, leaving, did he? Exactly. Okay, so so set set up your favorite skit for us. It, it's chocolate. It's a caveman, cave woman, and it's set around a lake scene and where I'm the macho guy and I you know have all these women to pick from. The lady's name okay. is Bertha Butt. Bertha Butt. Bertha Butt. Okay. Bertha Butt. Let's come up with with all these skits I actually Chuck do we have 2,000 skits done and I thought of four oh. <laughs> is that true that's that true. was helpful though uh, <laughs> the four <laughs> yeah I would say they're the four the best but anyway <laughs> the, but he came up with the other 1,996 and uh, that's amazing how would you come up with them 
Is the I don't know. I would just uh, always have been able to see a situation where something, not necessarily, it will happen, but it could happen, and it, mm -hmm. it could be funny. So I yeah. just out of real life. I and guess. you've had some amazing people on your show. Yeah, over very the years. famous people. Right. Very yeah. famous. Robin Sobota. That's one of our well, favorites. Oh, yeah. too. <laughs> that's our. Yeah. That, that's our that's signature. Both second favorite skit. Absolutely. Is, really. Is that guy and Rinaldi when they meet the cat lady? Meet the cat lady. Yes. And and uh, do we have a clip of I that? I think we do. I hope. All right. Let's take a see if you. It's yeah. her. Holy body stockings! It's the cat lady herself. <laughs> wow. Okay, cat lady, the jig is up. Oh my! I finally get to meet the famous bat guy in person. Oh, you're so striking. Meow. Why don't we get rid of Junior here and we can talk this over alone? Oh, man. <laughs> that truly, people who did not like me prior to that, I, I scored with them because they said, if you could make it on the Big Chuck and Little John show, See? if they would use you in a skit. <laughs> yeah. And as but I recall, liked you. somebody, yeah, yeah. I recall you guys had to go to bat with management because they had never allow, allowed a news person right. on before. That's so we right. made history. Yeah, we did. And you guys have made Except history. Except for Dick Cotter. They, they allowed him to do Dick anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He was well, a news talent. You, uh, you all have a primetime special Friday night. 8 at uh, 8 o'clock here, mm -hmm. and it's just going to be fabulous. And There's the billboard. And that beautiful oh job goodness. the graphics department did. Yeah, they, uh, yeah. they did a great job. You guys have done a great, great job, and I know all <laughs> of Northeast Ohio thanks you for Thank all you. the entertainment, and we'll miss you greatly. Thank you. So Thank you. we'll see if we can get you a job or something. That's what I'm saying. You're, I'm yeah. unemployed now. <laughs> I, I, I could pull a few strings. Got it. So we, maybe we could do skits. Yeah, there okay. you go. Get ready to program your DVRs for Friday, June 22nd. As we look back at the longest running show in Northeast Ohio, it's Big Chuck and Little John's last show. Join us as we celebrate the end of an era. Friday, June 22nd at 8 p.m. on Fox <laughs> Get out of here! Ah! 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 Wake up! Wake up!